We're going to find the slope of the tangent line to a linear function and graph f and the tangent line. The previous two videos I did were finding the slope of the tangent line to quadratic functions and the other one was to cubic functions. Um, the linear function is actually very easy but I find students get confused because what you're going to find is that the tangent line and the linear function are exactly the same. So again, we're using our formula, our slope formula for tangent, and we're going to put the slope in our um, point slope form, and these are the two um, linear equations I'm going to do. All right, so bottom line is this is our linear equation. I have to find the slope of the tangent line, and we're going to take the limit as x approaches 1, is our 1, our c of f of x minus f of c, which is f of is 1 in this case, for x minus 1. And we're going to get 3x plus 5. I'm supposed to always write this down. Uh, 3x plus 5 minus 1, which is 8. Right? All right. Whoopsie. Sorry. Um, so we're going to get all over x minus 1. Clean this up again. That's 3x minus 3 over x minus 1. And so when you factor out the 3 here, you're going to get x minus 1 over x minus 1. Uh, and we're taking the limit again as x approaches 1. Now that was our goal to cross out the x minus 1 because you can't plug in 1 here. Uh, you'll get an undefined um, system and you want to find the slope. So the limit as x approaches 1 equals 3 <clears throat> equals 3. So that's the constant um, property. Now I'm going to plug it in my uh, point slope form. I have y minus 8 equals 3 times x minus 1. I'm going to clean this up. You get y minus 8 equals 3x minus 3. Add the 8 to both sides and you're going to get 3x plus 5. And what you notice is these are the same. And so basically when they're asking you to draw it, you're getting the same line. So this one was our y equals 3x plus 5. And what they gave us was f of x equals 3x plus 5. So the tangent line touches everywhere on here. So it's the same line, basically. I'm going to do one of the next one real quickly. Um, let's see. Do I even write it down? No. The next one's going to be uh, f of x equals negative 2x plus 1. And we're looking at um, the tangent line touching at this point. So we're going to find the slope of the tangent line first using f of um, taking the limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x minus f of negative 1 over x minus a negative 1. So that gives us the limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x, which is uh, negative 2x plus 1 minus, and you plug in negative 1, and you're going to get 2 plus 1 is 3. So minus 3, and this is going to be x plus 1. So we get the limit as x approaches negative 1, and we get negative 2x minus 2 for x plus 1. I'm going to quickly um, factor out a negative 2 using the highest common factor or the greatest common factor. So our limit or our limit as x approaches negative 1 is 2, so therefore that's our slope. So I'm going to write y minus 3 equals negative 2 times x plus 1 in this case. Clean it up. y minus 3 equals negative 2x minus 2. You can add 3. So I'm adding 3 to both sides. 
and you get y equals negative 2x plus 1. So again, we have the same equation. And when you graph it, it's right here. It's the same line. So it's y equals negative 2x plus 1. And what was our point? I forgot. Negative 1 and 3. So our point was negative 1 <clears throat> and 3. So this was the point to pass through. And that is all. I do suggest you watch the, the, the videos on finding the tangent line to a quadratic and the tangent line to a cubic function. They're much easier to see. And um, you can get a better idea of what a tangent line is.